wetlands, amongst the reeds, lay a mother and father duck waiting eagerly for their ducklings to be born. As the sun shone brightly overhead, the eggs began to hatch. The mother and father duck watched with pride as the pretty ducklings dried their feathers, fluffing themselves with their beaks. Six yellow ducklings waddled all throughout the nest, circling around the last remaining egg. Mother duck worried that this egg would not hatch, however remained calm for the rest of her family. Later that day, all the friends and family travelled to meet the brood. Each different species gave their blessings to the individual ducklings and set on their way. One old duck paid special attention to the large, unhatched egg still left in the nest. The wise duck claims that the egg is different to the rest and to just leave it. Two more long, windy nights passed when finally the odd-shaped egg started to shake. Fascinated, all of the ducks joined together, curious to see what was inside of the shell. One foot, two feet, two wings, and at last, a small, frightened head popped up, laying eyes on the world around him. His grey, featherless body stood out from the rest. The baby duckling took two steps forward, falling onto his face straight after. All of the ducks started to laugh, making fun of his clumsiness. Lumber! We should call him Lumber! One of the ducklings called out. Weary-eyed, mother, mother Duck turned to look at the stumbling Lumber and agreed. The other ducklings pecked at him, the chickens beat him, and the girl who fed the poultry kicked him with her feet. At last, he ran away scaring the little birds in the hedge as he flew over the palings. The duck wandered by himself in the big world, unsure of where to go. After a long, lonely journey, he finally bumped into two wild geese who invited him to join them. Excitedly, he agreed and followed through their footsteps. Lumber tried to walk, talk and eat as the geese did. However, no matter how hard he tried, he could not keep up with their flying. You aren't one of us. You can't even fly. The geese laughed and poked at him. Crashing sounds rung through his ears as he watched the geese fall straight into the water, hunter dogs chasing in after them. Lumber hid behind his wings. Glad for once, he was not like the others. A storm brewed on the cold horizon, promising nothing but winds to level even the mightiest of trees to the soil. Lumber used all of his force to stay hidden under the reeds, however his young body was not yet strong enough. The wind blew him into an old cottage, where he soon was warm and cosy in the kitchen of a man, woman, tomcat and prized hen. We shall keep it, said the man. We will keep it, as long as it lays eggs for our supper, the woman exclaimed. Lumber felt like he finally belonged. He was fed, bathed and had a warm place to sleep. Three weeks passed and the woman's patience grew very short longing for the eggs she had been waiting for. The man was sad when he, heard he, when he heard the news, having to give away the poor duckling. Even so, the man spoke to him in a manner that was not familiar. The old man's wise words rung throughout his ears. Go where your body and soul want to go. When you have the feeling, then stay with it, and don't let anyone throw you off. A little intuition can help you find where your bliss is. Grab it. No one can tell you what it is going to be. You have to learn to recognise your own depth. As he ran crying, feeling worthless and out of place, he stumbled across a river. Three beautiful white swans emerged from the thicket, swimming towards him. Lumber felt intimidated and hid his head in shame. He felt unworthy of their kind-heartedness. Looking down at the clear stream, he sees his reflection yet again. This time, however, he no longer sees a dark grey bird, ugly and disagreeable to look at, but instead a beautiful and graceful swan. To be born in a duck's nest in a farmyard is of no consequence to a bird if it is hatched from a swan's egg. Lumber now truly felt like he belonged and was now included in a community with the swan surrounding him, stroking his necks with their beaks as a welcome. Lumber the swan is very much a reflection of our classroom students. As humans, we are all trying to find our place in this world what groups we fit into, and how that counteracts with our actions and the ways we present ourselves. Lumber is exposed to the harsh reality, however carries on with this individuation journey, despite him constantly feeling that he is being judged towards his different looks and habits. Lumber suffered in the first part of the story as he did not know who he was. As teachers, we need to believe in a child in order for a child to believe in themselves. 
Our profession highly values equity, justice and integrity, shaping our relationships with students upon the foundation of trust and ethical equality. We can create a belonging and inclusive classroom by using our communication skills to teach students the importance of following their passions and finding their place in society. The man living in the cottage did just this, with his wise words sticking with lumber, allowing him to continue the search for his true identity. Again, we must remember these words. Go where your body and soul want to go. When you have the feeling, then stay with it. A little intuition can help you find where your bliss is. Grab it. No one can tell you what it is going to be. You have to learn to recognise your own depth.